Now, after adding the new SAP system and creating the package, now we'll create our first object that is domain. For that, again you can go through our system new and select other and then select the dictionary object or we can directly go to package right click other app repository object type dictionary and here inside dictionary select the domain get the domain name which we want to create let's say I want to create that emp underscore id that is a employee id and as I'm creating this object directly on package so we can see the default package here otherwise we can tap manually or for local object type dollar tmp give the name and description here for the data uh, for domain select the request Okay, object already wrong. So now, here we have to give data type. If we don't know the data type, click on browse and we can see the available data types here. So here with the length, I want the length to be 10. Okay, so ZEMP underscore ID I'm creating as a domain with error type char length 10 save this check control f2 and activate see here no error and object activated now go back to sap system and check in sc 11 because this is on premise system so we can check this in sc 11 see here the new domain is created Okay, inside the object Z above. Now what I will do, I will create one more data element, uh, one more domain here. It says Z EMP underscore name that is employee name. Next, select the request or create a new. Again, the data type here, I am selecting data type as care and for employee name, I am taking length as 4040. Save, check, and activate. Okay, domain activated. Go back to SE11 and check the second domain which we have created see the care 40 and the package app in case if you want to add some value range which we are doing in the SC11 that value range we can add here okay so till now we have created domain now we will create the data element for data element again right click here new other web repository objects dictionary and create select data element next so i want to create with the same id because data element and domain you can give the same id okay so here I give as employee id next same request and here we have to give the domain name so same domain which we have created control is space you can see here suggestion z employee id give the sort description here let's say employee id okay so we can give the description here and now save check no error and activate object activated go back to SE11 and cross check 
the new data element that is z emp underscore id see the new data element the domain z emp underscore id and the field level we can see the description which I have given on the eclipse now I will create the next data element that is for the employee name data element z emp underscore name here I will give the detail as employee name next select the request give the domain control space employee name give the detail as employee name employee name type here okay save check and activate go back to SC11 go back to SC11 and this time we'll check the ZEMP underscore name so here we can see our data element is created okay so in this way we have created two domain and two data element through Eclipse and we have checked the same on the back backend SAP system through SC element. So in this way, we done with this object creation of domain and data element using Eclipse.